Okay, what's up, fam? It's your boy Mike the Pilot. Hey, listen, uh, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna try. Well, I'm gonna take as much time as it take as it's needed. But um, I am gonna take my time. But I do have to get. I I do have to wrap this up. And well, you know what? I'm not gonna rush. I'm not gonna rush that. Listen, I gotta say some stuff to you. Um, and I'm speaking. I'm speaking to somebody specifically. Um, now, I don't know who you are, but I am speaking to you specifically. Um, when you hear this, you will know it's you that I'm speaking to. And I'm just going to start out like this. There are unbelievers. There are people who don't believe that there's a God. And you can't believe in God without believing everything. If you, it's gonna be all or nothing. You can't, you can't pick and choose. It's gonna be all or nothing. So if you believe in God, you gotta believe there's a devil. If you believe there's a heaven, you have to believe there's a hell. You see, some people wanna pick and choose and say, well, you know, I believe in heaven, but I don't think there's a hell. I, I believe that there's a God, but I don't believe there's uh, a, a, a devil or a Satan. I believe that there are angels, but I don't believe there are demons. You can't have it. You can't have your cake and eat it too. If you believe one, you gotta believe it all. Um, I'm gonna share some person, very personal stuff with you that I, this, it's, it's, it's imperative that I do. Uh, even if I, even though I don't understand why it's more, it's imperative that I do. I don't have to understand, but I know it's imperative that I share these things with you. Yesterday, March the fifteenth, twenty twenty was a day that will go down in my life as one of the top five days of my life. There's, 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 some, there's some top days of your life that you can't replace. The day you're born, the day you die, and then the rest of the, day, rest of, rest of the days that are important in your life. If you had to pick five of them, yesterday would be in that top five. So I got the day, I'm born, the day I was born, the day I'll die, yesterday, and then there's probably two or, well, there's no, probably there are two other days I'd have to figure out and understand which, what they are. The day I met my wife, there's another one. For the first time, the day I, I, the first time I ever saw her, that would be another one, that, that would be another one. But yesterday was certainly a day in my life that'll rank up in those top five days of my life. Yesterday, represented the culmination of 32 years of transformation. God <clears throat> completed a process yesterday of my total transformation. It took 32 years, 32 years. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the meat of it. I see my cousin Vivian, Viv, you gotta watch this video. If you don't watch any other video I ever do, you gotta watch this one. Yesterday was a day that, I'm gonna try it like this. Most people would never tell you this, but true believers, if you're a true believer, you don't even have to tell anybody but you can relate to this. There was a day that I did not believe in God. I was an unbeliever. I didn't believe he existed. I just did not believe he existed. And I was, I was, I was convicted in that. I was, I was like, there is no God. It's all made up. It's all made up. It's just all one big, like the great lie all of it, all of it. There was a day, there was a day in which case every word in this Bible, I did not believe. I, I thought it was just a book that somebody made up a story 
that some very clever fellas came up with. And when I say clever, I mean just some very remarkable people that walked the earth and came up with stories and made up this made up this story, this book, like a, a, a you know, you know, a fictional book. Okay? There was a time when I believed that. I would never tell anybody. I think the only person I ever told that to was my wife. And I was embarrassed and ashamed to do that. I would never tell my family, my parents, my sister, to, you don't believe in God. You were raised in church. You heathen. I would never tell my mother, mom, I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. I would never tell them that. And there was a time when I did not believe. I did not believe. I prayed for signs. Lord, if you're, if you're really there, show me. I just didn't believe. I'm talking to you. I want whoever this is for. You are unbeliever. You are where I used to be. And the reason I'm doing this video is for you. I'm here to tell you that there is a God. There is a God. He sits on high, he looks low. There is a God. It's all true. There is a God, but guess what? There is a devil, it's all true. All of this is true, it's true. There is a God. It took me 32 years to be transformed. There is a God. And it all culminated yesterday. Now, how do I know there's a God? Because he showed himself to me. Not, not, not like this, but he showed himself to me, not just once. I can't really get into I can't, really, I can't really get into how and when he showed me, but I will just share this with you. There's a God. That means that there is a devil. There are angels that are walking amongst us, and there are demons and devils that are walking amongst us. And when I say that, there are people who are possessed by demons and devils. Now, don't get me wrong. They're not foaming at the mouth and um, you know those kind of things, but they're possessed. You can be possessed by a spirit of evil. You know, evil is unforgiveness. That's a, that's a spirit of the, the enemy. Unforgiveness. That's not a spirit of God. So if you hold an unforgiveness in your heart, guess what? You're possessed by the demon of unforgiveness. Okay? I just wanted to share that with you because I can't really get into it now, but I can come back later maybe. It's important that I share with you. It's very important that I share with you what happened yesterday to me. The, the final transformation, the final piece of the transformation. And God said, it is complete. Your transformation is complete. You are a different person. And now you have to go forth and do my work. You have to do what I put you on that planet to do. And then I'll bring you home. I'm not worried about dying. And the reason I'm not worried about dying is because I know that God will not bring me and take me away from this planet until my work is done. The day I leave this planet, one thing you can count on and rest assured, Michael did his job. He did his, he, he finished his work. Okay, this is very important that I share this with you this morning. For all my family, Viv, my sister who will watch this later, show mom and dad, you all know what I've been going through the last few months. Okay, since September 28th. Aunt Dora May, you know what I've been dealing with since September the 28th. Good morning, Gertrude. I'm going to try to stick to my, my subject because sometimes I get distracted by trying to say hi to everybody through the comments and everything. But you all know what I've been dealing with since September 28th or up until leading up until September 28th. My Aunt Dorme, you were there. Mom and Dad was there. My sister and my, my brother-in-law were there. I pulled my wife in. Even though she wasn't physically there, I pulled her in, you know, through the use of technology. But I'm just here to say this. I want to address some people. And those are the people who are like I used to be. The people who don't believe. Trust me when I say there is a God. Now, 
if you have disbelief in your heart and you want to believe, reach out to me. Reach out to me. I can put you in touch with some people. And if I can't do it, I can put you in touch with some people who can help you. Your life and your soul, more importantly, your life, your, your life hereafter, where it will reside for eternity, may just depend on it. This is so this is critically important. If you are a disbeliever and you are reaching and searching for something, a sign, something, because you want to believe. Contact me. However you have to. Even if it's through this video, comment in the section below. Mike, I need to talk to you. Mr. Kearney, please call me. Email me. And we will, we will help you. We will help you. I will help you. I will do my part. I will do what God has assigned me to do. This is for the unbeliever. If you believe, I'm not even talking to you. This may be, in fact, be reaffirmation of your belief or affirmation of your belief. So that's all I got. I got. I really do have to go. I want. I'll probably come back later on today, God willing, and I really address some things. I want to take my time and unpack some stuff that happened yesterday. Some, it's it's really important that I share with you what happened to me yesterday, and it's it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. And I think maybe even once I share that with you, it may be something that will spark, a light a spark in you that will say, hey, you know what, let me make my way to him. And it's not me. It's not about making your way to me, but just making your way maybe to um, an agent of God, if you will one of his representatives of many. And I can introduce you to some powerful, powerful, powerful people that are agents of God. General Waddell, Jacqueline Waddell, Jerome Waddell, among many. So if that's you, if you do nothing more than just simply comment, Mr. Kearney, Mike, however you know me, if you don't know me, comment in the section the comment section below. Even after I finish this live video, you can still leave comments and I will check, come back and check. And if that, and if, and if, if there's somebody that we need to reach and you're trying to reach us, we will make it happen. All right. That's all I got right now. I'm going to come back later with some very powerful stuff and um, I'll see you then. Babe, I love you so much. Don't get me started. All right. I love you so much and I appreciate all your love. Gertrude, Linda Gross, a classmate of mine. Joyce, if you're still watching, I appreciate all of you guys. All right, I love you. Peace.